Okay, guys, we're back on the Carlotta Chatwood Show. I've got one of the people already on the line of surprises. My other surprise, I hope she's coming. Okay, so I want to welcome to the show somebody who's had some really wonderful videos that Tom and Mara have both uh, approved of. So hold just a second. We're going to bring her into the show. Just a moment here. Magical escapism? Hi, thanks for inviting me. Welcome it's to good the to show. Actually talk to you guys. Well, I had, um, thank you. Yeah, I had listened to you guys over the winter. I think it was back in December, and I thought you all did a wonderful job. Amazing. Well, we're we're glad to have you on. I I want you to explain because your videos have been recently controversial, and I want you to kind of explain your videos to the people because. A lot of people seem to have this idea that you are you're trying to say Michael Jackson was some sort of god or something like that. That is I know that's not what you're trying to say, but could you could No, you no. <laughs> well, I actually I only had one guy say something to me like Michael isn't Jesus, but I had to clear that up with him and say that he said he tried to imitate Jesus, which is a Christian philosophy. And I think because billions of people thought that Jesus died and was resurrected, that if we think that Michael died and really didn't, you know, that has to be relevant. So, and so you think that Michael, do you think it's just that Michael is just trying to, is he's trying to do the Masonic, he's trying to do the right thing because they look up to Jesus in Jehovah Witness. They think Jesus was a great prophet. So is that the, what you're trying to, you're trying to say that, aren't you, that he's just following Right. I think he has, uh, you know, morals and wants to, you know, bring love to the world. But I think everything related to his death is really th just this big, innovative art project, like performance art, only it's something that's never been done before. And I think it was meant to be fan interactive. And like art, I think no two people uh, interpret a poem or a painting in the same way. So I think with this death hoax, you know, your perception is always unique, so everybody's going to see Michael's art in a different way, but I, I think that's okay, mm -hmm. you know, that we see things differently and have different theories, and it makes it interesting, like art. Now, how did you come to, because I, I've gotten uh, emails from you and stuff before in the past, and you always have some interesting things to say. How did you, <laughs> how did you come to the conclusion, you know, about Michael? And that, he, that he was alive? Yes. Well, it was interesting. I heard what you guys said earlier, and I kind of felt the same way. I just, I happened to be home that day, early in the day, you know, the day he died, which is, it's very unusual that I would be home. And if I was home, I normally wouldn't be watching TV. So I just happened to be watching TV before any of it broke. And even that, it's just, I don't know, it's become almost like a calling. Like I wasn't one of those obsessed fans that would fall at Michael's feet or, pass out or cry if I saw him, you know, but since then, you know, it's, it's been like an awakening. But I think that's part of what it's about. I think um, I think a lot of the fans that think he died and say things like, oh, Michael would never do this to us, you know, I think they're thinking about his loving and sweet, innocent part of his personality that wanted to heal the world. But, you know, he was also a multifaceted person, and he also had you know, the jokes are part of him that like practical jokes and being silly and playful and food fights and throwing water balloons on people that were dressed up going out to dinner. And um, the escapism that I talk about that I put in my name, he always talked about that too, you know, the diversion, anti-reality, fantasy, you know, transporting yourself through art to a different place in your imagination. So... I think the people that think he's dead aren't really looking at those other aspects of Michael, and I think he would totally do this. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. So, yeah, and Tom, do you, do you have a quick, because I know you put, uh, you've put, uh, you've com uh, complimented her in your videos, and is there anything you want to say today to Magical Escapism? Yeah, I just really appreciate the way she makes her videos and how she puts the information together. I find, um, it just appears so compelling and uh, good on the eye, and I, I agree with, um, I think you touched on the, the Jesus link, the, the religious link. Was that, that was you, yeah? Yeah, yeah. that was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I, 
I have to say, I mean, I, I'm not a deep person, but I totally agree with that kind of link uh, to a certain extent. Um, simply because, I mean, he said it himself that he he likes he wants well he likes to imitate Jesus or on that on those lines. And I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to be hounded for saying something like that again. But um, yeah, and I mean the the relevance and the symbology again. Um, totally ties in with the religious link and he like he said he's all religion so I'm sure he studied them to a depth. Okay. You guys have some phone calls on the line, so uh Magical Sapiens, you mind staying on the line to get some of the phone calls too? Sure. Okay, okay. So we're gonna take a call from this is seven one eight. They've been waiting for a while. Hi, welcome to the Carlotta Chat we show you're online with Mara Tom and Magical Escapism, our special guest. Seven one eight? Oh, hello. Hi, you're on the line. Oh, I am? Oh, my How God. How are you? Yeah, you are. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> what was your question? Um, well, I just want to say that the three of you, I watch your videos, and I love them. Sometimes I go, uh, but then most of them I love. <laughs> but that's, you know. <laughs> and um, I, too, I wasn't a huge fan before. I always admired him, but then something snapped June 25th, and because of things that are going on with me, uh, it just, I started watching a lot of Michael videos and things like that, and then I came upon a Joe Nail star, and I said, you know what, he could have done this for sure. So now I'm a believer, and I just want to ask about a, uh, just a couple of quick things uh, that I, you know, through videos I've been watching. Uh, do you think um, TMZ is a big part of this hoax, or do they want us to believe that? And also, like, I'm wondering about the Cirque du Soleil stuff, the big Sony contract, John Branca, if you think Michael is behind all of that. Oh, good question. Okay, thank you, Carla, for calling uh, in. I watched a lot of videos. I'm really yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Who wants to take that? Yeah. Uh, Tom, go ahead. Maury, Maury, you're good on finance. <laughs> no, I mean, I think you should take it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm not Oh, this is so not fair. <laughs> Laura, I have spoken. Well, I, what, I found, what I found interesting about the uh, Cirque du Soleil deal. Oh, sorry, was I interrupting somebody then? Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Someone said something. I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, oh, sorry. No, I the caller was saying. Hold on. The caller. What were you saying? Hold on. Just a minute, guys. 718. What were you saying? 718? Uh, I have spoken with you on, like, uh, the forum, the Death Hoax forum. And oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I have sent emails to both Tom and more. So <laughs> okay, okay, so Tom oh, is going to oh, answer your question. Tom, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I can answer to, <laughs> to an extent about the Cirque du Soleil deal. And, I, I mean, that, just, uh, that didn't surprise me one bit. I could see that so happening. I could see that developing. And once it did, I thought, yeah. Um, but then I was sent some um, leads to that, and I, I found it so interesting that um, Chris Angel, Cirque du Soleil, and then they have um, FIFA World Cup, and that is tied with Cirque du Soleil. They're partnered with Cirque du Soleil. And I looked up um, some, a little bit more information 